Welcome to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith, along with Morgan. Hello, everybody. We're glad you could be with us this Saturday and hope you're having a good Saturday no matter what you're doing. <laughs> but thank you for joining us on the show. And we're going to talk today about curb appeal. Yes. You know, that's a that's a heavy subject or a very interesting subject to many people because they're trying to sell their home and if you're trying to sell your home you're definitely going to want to listen to this one um, this comes from the experts in the business of reselling homes and certainly curb appeal is one something that everybody wants for their home anyway whether you sell or not oh yeah it just adds so much to your house you know yeah, it really does. And, uh, you know, you, you, you can maybe sell your home, but do these things anyway, even if you're not ready to sell, because a lot of them are low budget and high reward on, on just how you're going to feel when you drive up and see your home. Mm -hmm. So before we get started, let's have our rem remodeling safe tip of the week. Okay, so this one is disinfecting. In our offices and on our job sites, we are doing a really great job of disinfecting everything. So in our offices, I'll start there, we are doing a regular twice a day disinfecting of all the surfaces of our office. And then we also, after meetings or um, anytime we have like little gatherings in a room, we disinfect those as well. And then our Everyone cleans their own workspaces, so everything is really timed out um, and it makes sure that it happens every single day. So that way our clients can feel safe coming into our offices. And, and that really is done very thoroughly, isn't it? Oh, yes. And the team just goes into action. As soon as the meeting's <laughs> over with, it, it's completely disinfected for the next one. Yep. They don't wait till the next people show up. It's done immediately. Yes. <clears throat> and I appreciate what Kelly and Grace do, and Kelly is all over it. Mm -hmm. And we really appreciate that. And a lot of others, too, have contributed to that. You know, I was thinking also of disinfecting. Uh, a safe thing to have on the job site is obviously everybody using hand sanitizer and so forth. We've gone over that before. Masks and so forth, even partition walls mm -hmm. uh, that we do. But, you know, another thing that needs to be done is whenever we are remodeling, a lot of times a tree has to be cut or a limb. And did you know that you need to disinfect your tools before you cut someone else's tree? Because just in case that that uh, oak wilt is in that system of that tree that you cut last, it can be transferred to the system of the next tree. I so, know you do that. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we, we have to spray down tools, even for cutting trees, you have to disinfect. So they don't get that, that virus. Oh, that it's would a different be virus. devastating for dad. Oh yeah. Anybody <laughs> anybody who loses an oak tree because of someone not knowing. Yep. You know, this is just like the remodeling business. A lot of things people don't know. You want people who are knowledgeable because the results can be very, very long lasting. So if you pay somebody to do your trees, do you ask them if they disinfect their tools? Oh, I watch them do it. Oh. I don't I've had some help like maybe once or twice on yeah. my trees and they did they were not going to do it. I mean of course, you know. I was there watching to make sure everything got done, even even the spraying of the wounds and all that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's hard to get people to do good work, and whenever you do get them, they charge a lot for that. Yeah. But but you know, I'm kind of I don't need someone that has all the expertise. I need some help, and so I've I've done tree trimming long enough to know what to do and what not to do. So I might be able to get by with a little less on uh, on the amount of money that somebody's charging. But somebody who's not going to get up there. And get involved with it like I am you better pay somebody who's doing it right because they can ruin your trees mm -hmm. but that's true of remodeling too so let's talk about curb appeal and the curb appeal that I want to talk about first is doors and and you would be amazed at the difference that a door can make on the perceived value I've seen actual studies done on the perceived value of a, of a nice door now you can get a nice door in several ways sometimes you just need to replace your old door <laughs> and that's what i need to do in my house yeah. my door is not pretty i don't care what color you paint it it's it's going to be nicer it has dents. yeah hey it you don't has. have to say that <laughs> <laughs> we've taken that door off quite a few times and i just brought a um, machine in through there this this week and tore it off the hinges again dented again but that's kind of the finishing touch when you do a remodeling project after you get done messing with your front and your entryway and all that, then you do your, your garage. I mean, your, your uh, entry door. Yeah. 
the entry door yeah. and, and you can just paint it a beautiful color like red mm -hmm. or black is really a beautiful um, Navy. or such a dark bronze that it almost looks black that's really oh, cool yeah, that's pretty uh -huh. and and of course you know if you want to put a new door system in that's a really nice way to enjoy your your entryway let in more light perhaps and make your door taller wider then you don't worry about denting it that's right and of course the the wrought iron doors are just absolutely beautiful i absolutely love them i want to put in a wrought iron door next time uh -huh. and and they're extremely uh, solid and hard to break into mm -hmm. so those are some of the things you want to consider so if you're thinking of i'd like some of those features now then do it and then improve your your curb appeal tremendously the perceived value i've seen numbers that go up to like twelve to nineteen thousand dollars in perceived value on a on a door that only cost maybe three thousand to install. Wow. Yeah, I think it was like nine to to fourteen thousand. I think is what it was. Yeah, and it's been a while since I've seen it, but it was a lot, a lot more. You're going to get a lot more value, and they show the the pictures of houses next to each other, one with and one without the new door. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's an amazing difference how it registers in the brain. So yeah, a, a garage door is another one that we want, that you want to think about. Um, I just went to a beautiful home that we signed a design agreement for at Canyon Lake. Mm -hmm. and, and there's a very important point about a lot of garages. They are, they are prominent in the appeal and the uh, look on the home. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you have a garage that sticks out further than your house, it's that's a, what people are going to see. That's what they're going to see. And, and if you haven't seen some beautiful, beautiful garage doors or something that just turned you on, then you haven't seen enough of them. That's what I was going to say. There are so many nowadays that are just stunning and they either can disappear or they can be a complete a show piece. accent. A showpiece, yeah. yeah. And you know, like the tailors, it matched the look of their front door. Mm -hmm. So why not, do them, cool. why not do them together? Yeah. If you're going to get a contemporary look on your front door, get a contemporary look on your garage doors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to cost you a few thousand dollars more to do that. But man, the look is incredible. You'll never regret it. Mm -mm. If you put some glass in there, maybe all glass and some, some steel. I mean, that is the look. That is the look. Like the industrial look. Yeah, if you're going industrial or contemporary mm -hmm. or, or even if you will go with a really traditional wood that just jumps and says this is real wood and it might not be or could be but you can make it so that it's low maintenance also what about if their garage is too tiny like the two garage doors oh yeah changing that to a one girl wide garage door is a wonderful thing to do yeah so so garage doors and entry doors are tremendous assets in increasing your curb appeal for relatively small small look and of course, you have to decide how far you want to go if you're going to resell right away. If not, do it and enjoy it now. <laughs> I want to talk about something that I did, which I have enjoyed, and, and I know I'm going to enjoy it for 20 years or more, and that's my Ford. Why don't you go to FordAbernie.com, look them up, and get a con get a contact with them. Or Justin Kutcher is the, was my salesperson. He's awesome, and uh, just knows Ford trucks and Ford vehicles tremendously. And the service is incredible. It's a concierge service that they have there. You'll really enjoy the great service, and you get your boots done there if you want. <laughs> um, breakfast in the mornings, it's incredible. At 920-3023 or fordabernie.com. And we'll be right back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. Welcome back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith, along with Morgan. Hello, everybody. And we are busy talking about curb appeal. <laughs> what does that mean, Morgan, curb appeal? What people see when they're standing at the curb of your house. That's right. What you can see from the curb. That's exactly right. And, and there's a lot more things than you would think of. Before we get into that, though, and uh, I wanted to mention my friends at Expel. That's X. P E L X P E L and, uh, and you can find Eric at 4307712 or expelsanantonio.com sa.com right 
it's just expel.com and oh, you look up the San Antonio right. you gotta look location. Up the San Antonio location. Yeah, I keep thinking it's SA. I know, that's why it's not on there. <laughs> that's right. And so uh, they, they do windows. Mm -hmm. I mean, in, not only cars do they do the protective film like I have on several cars, but they also do the protective film on windows that can resist break-ins. And it's incredible. You gotta see the videos on that. And, and of course, the UV. UV, UV and uh, lowers your energy bills and can also reduce the amount of light on your sensitive things like wood floors. Leather couches. Yeah, all your furniture. If you have windows in a closet, it won't, you won't harm your clothes. your clothes or your draperies. Mm -hmm. Look them up at, not, let's see, the numbers. 210-430-7712. Ask for Eric. Mm -hmm. So let's get back into the client testimonial that you always do every week. Yeah, so this one was nice. We got an email from one of our design consultants. She forwarded it along because it was one of her clients. And they said, hi, Courtney, week two. So far, so good. We're only mildly inconvenienced, but no big deal. Amazing how fast things are changing. The is take, island is taking shape and the ceiling support work is done. Looks like it belongs there. Work crews are friendly and clean up nicely at end of day. Getting more excited about what the end product will look like. That's a nice little. You've got a lot of them that have come in lately. Yeah. You're gonna be you're gonna be backlogged on bringing these out. <laughs> yeah. So that that is a just kind of an average week. The yeah. nice friendly things that are said by our very loving and caring clients, and we're so glad that they're happy. Mm -hmm. So we talked about on curb appeal garage doors, an entry door make big differences in the value of your home, the perceived value of your home, which translates to real value when you sell it. Yep. Let's talk about two other things that are kind of go together, landscaping and lighting. Mm -hmm. Now, lighting can be on the home itself. You can, you can do nice uplit lit sconces that light up the soffits, or you can do them in accordance and accompanied with landscape lighting, because the landscape lighting can actually shine up on the, the building as well. Mm -hmm. and they can shine up pathways and so forth. But usually you want to do that when you're landscaping. You want to get your landscape the way you want it, and then you want to up light and down light at different places. Of course, the one we're going to recommend is Elite Lighting Designs for that. That is a, it is a real, really good one to, to use. I'm going to go ahead and give their number out now, 210-573-0594. I'll mention them again later but elite lighting designs can make a huge difference on your curb appeal at night. And, and lighting is just a wonderful thing. It's safe and it, and it really makes a difference on how people view it. Um, you can encourage people if you're selling your home to come by and view it at night. You can put those photos and even videos in your uh, repertoire of what your, your home looks like. You can put that online. On the listing. Yeah, not a lot of people are gonna show their home in pictures of them at night and if you have beautiful photos of your home at night because you did good lighting then you're going to be ahead of the rest and i know that when you're selling a home or when you're buying a home safety is part of it you're looking at the neighborhood you're looking at the house how safe is it well when they see that your home is lit up like that at night that deters burglars for sure it does so that's going to help you so when you you're living there and selling it yeah so safety on deterring burglars and break-ins uh, safety and walking around the property. Yeah, you won't trip as easily. And you won't step on something you don't want to step on. And when they do the lighting, the wires are buried underneath the ground. So it's right. not like these little stick in the ground, you know, no, plugs. These little and solars everything. that, yeah. that don't put Fall off good light. This is a professional, professional look. Mm -hmm. And the results are much different yeah. than, than buying cheap little uh, low voltage lighting that, that you put in yourself, home motor yes. type. Do it professionally. And of course your sconces, one of the things that you want you want in outdoor lighting is not to be able to see the light source. And so you when just wanna see the you just wanna see the light. Now a lot of us have lights on our homes that whenever it turns on, you can see the bulb. Because <laughs> it spreads out more light. But the subtle light is what makes it look beautiful. You don't want direct light in your eyes. Mm -hmm. And it's actually harsh. And nobody wants to come drive up to a home and be kind of squinting or Blinding. their pupils dilating. You know, what can happen that's unsafe? Mm 
-hmm. if you if you're if it hits you in the eyes and there's a cat or a dog or you know god forbid a human or even a trash can you might not be able to see it because your eyes can't absorb the light mm -hmm. you want soft lights and again this sells the home oh, so, yes. so outdoor lighting and of course let's talk a little bit about landscaping you want to trim your trees you want to do your flowers to, if you're going to sell and just get in the habit and you can actually plant things that grow back every year and they don't have to replant them and so landscaping is important very important in the resale of a home of course as we said all of these things are going to help you enjoy your home why not start doing some of those things now some lighting some uh, plants and and you might want to get a professional landscaper to give you the design there are landscape design architects that will design it for you and they won't they won't have to do the job you can do it in phases mm -hmm. if you like doing some of it like I do I don't like the planning so much but I like the man the maintenance um, get you something that's easy to maintain mm -hmm. and uh, this starts off with professional design but this is going to help you later uh, you know a lot of you are thinking moving out into the next few years do it now start enjoying it one thing about landscaping is that if you wait too long it's not mature yeah, and it doesn't look doesn't look the same if you started now on your landscaping especially since fall is here soon and you want to plant in the spring or in the fall then your plants are going to reach maturity and looking really great in the spring and then of course one more year later down the road they're starting to look really good and strong and so start now with your landscaping ideas to get your home in shape if you're going to move out in a few years consult a professional and, and uh, get it done starting now. So we want to we want to go ahead and uh, mention before we go to the break, want to mention something else on my truck because a <laughs> lot of you guys and you ladies out there can spend the money on doing fun things to your truck. If you want a, a fun house for your truck or your Jeep, then go to Maximum Altitude. Joey has an incredible showroom there. And he does the lift like he did on mine. He does the horns like he did on mine. He does all the cool things you want to make it cool. And that's MaximumAltitude.com. Or call Joey at 655-0184. And check out the video of my truck at kmbuilders.com. Go to MaximumAltitude.com or 655-0184. We'll be right back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. Welcome back to the KM Builders Remodeling Design Show. I'm Keith, along with Morgan. Hello, everybody. And we're glad you could be with us. And Morgan wants to tell you a little bit about one of our great sponsors. Uh, just yesterday, they came to my house. They cleaned. They came to Pa's house on Thursday. It is so nice coming home to a clean home, especially when we're home so much. So the maids come. They come twice a month. I think and they just do a fabulous job and we want them we use them on all of our projects and we cannot recommend them enough so go to 210-822-2526 and you can give the maids a call to get your home regularly cleaned that's what we recommend because you want to love your home and or you can go to www.maids.com slash 211 maids.com slash 211 and we're glad to use them on our projects. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about what's trending with Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're talking about. Yeah. Well, I just have a quick one. And I, I was talking to all the ladies at the office. And isn't it a pain in the butt when you forget your mask now? Yeah. You can't go anywhere. It's almost worse than leaving your phone, your driver's license. You can't do anything without your mask. I still get mask. out of the truck once in a while without it. Oh, I both grace and i left our mask at home on monday and we were and i was talking about it and even though i have a little spot where i keep all of them i still forgot it so we need some station in our homes to me mudrooms even though we're in texas and we don't have all the weather that people typically use for mudrooms like we're, cold cold weather yeah like mud mm -hmm. rain snow, snow yeah um we could use a mudroom a mini mudroom that we have all of our new out the door essentials in, you know, your purse, your masks box, or your sanitizer and your things. Keys, everything. Everything all in one spot. And it's out of the way of the normal traffic. Mm -hmm. 
So a mini mudroom is what I was thinking that people could start incorporating with some nice built-in shelving right at the entryway with, you know, close the door. But if everything was all in one spot, you wouldn't forget anything. That is so true. <laughs> and we've done some really, really cool mudrooms and some mini mudrooms that just give the, the essentials and it, it organizes your life. And actually, um, if you're organized, you're happier. Oh, yeah. It makes a As huge Morgan difference. will tell you. Yeah, I don't like being scattered. Yeah, and I don't really like it either. And most of us don't like it, but we don't know what to do about it. And the answer is remodeling. <laughs> there you go. Just like we're talking about curb appeal now. Mm -hmm. Curb appeal can make a big difference in the way you feel. You don't know why you feel the way you do sometimes because environment is so gradual on changing our feelings. And how does that happen? Well, the trees need to be trimmed. The sidewalks need to be pressure washed, you know, and, and that didn't happen overnight. Neither did the changes in our environment um, politically or socially. They don't change overnight, they're gradual and they start putting pressure on us just like, a, just like an ugly home. Mm -hmm. You know, it all happens gradually. But we need to take a look back, sometimes a, a step away and say, you know, what could I do to make me feel better when I drive up? If I ever sell this home, I'm gonna to have to do it anyway. So that's why we're talking about curb appeal. We've mentioned garage doors. You know, your garage doors aren't gonna last forever. Next time you replace a garage door, if you're in the, then think about having it upgraded to something beautiful, but incorporate it into the plan of what the home is going to look for, look like, what it really should be. Mm -hmm. And the entry door as well the lighting on the home, the landscaping. You know, we mentioned the Taylor's home with the garage door and the entryway door complementing each other. They also did some really nice lighting on that on that project. Yes. And of course, we've got the landscape lighting on our home and we're about ready to upgrade the lighting on the rest of it. Mm -hmm. And then I wanna do the garage doors and the entry door. Mm -hmm. That's part on my, my list. So those are really gonna hit the main things. We already have the landscaping and the pathway lighting and so forth. And the pathway. The pathway is another one though, right? Mm -hmm. you, you, had, you had thought of that one, that pathways really can upsell a home. I've gotten so many compliments on my stone walkway that runs through, uh, I have a corner lot and it goes on the side of the home to the driveway. And it is so practical. You know why I installed it? Because I was always walking that pathway. Oh yeah, you're not going to go all the way to the sidewalk to then go all the way around to then go to your backyard. Right. It's just not going to happen. And and I've gotten lots of compliments because not only is it stone and it ages gracefully, but it weaves. Yes. It's not just a straight line. It mm -hmm. has nice curves to it. And I was proud of that one. I helped lay that one out and do it. And uh, it's, I mean, you do it right. It's a long, it's a lifetime it's really Project. held up because it's just one spot where the tree roots got it, but you are easily able to repair that. And that was really a nice lifelong, I don't remember it never being there, right? Right. I can't, it's yeah. been a long time. Oh, it's been there so long. We did it, we did it, I think, 15 years ago. Yeah. And so if you have a home and you don't have any pathways to the other side of your yard, it looks kind of boring. And a pathway, if especially if it's done beautifully with the curves, it can make your home look that much more stunning and just set, it definitely sets it apart from your neighbors. Definitely. And so the pathway and of course the lighting. Now we don't have lighting that goes next to the pathway because you can trip on that. And it, you know, those, are, those can be dangerous and hard to mow around and all that. So we have it coming up from the trees lighting down or you can have them from the house. There's wonderful spotlights and so forth that will shoot down on it and you really can't see where the light is coming from. The only thing that you would maybe do in a pathway is like rope lights along yeah. it if it was gonna be right there. Right, that you wouldn't trip on. But the trees, you've got gorgeous overhanging trees that you can just Conceal the, the hidden right lights down. that shine right down on it. And that's, that's something I hadn't beautiful. thought of, but Elite Lighting Designs did that one. They did? Yeah, they thought of that. And then another one that we can, you can do is uh, windows. We talked about the exterior windows. You can do shutters. You can do, uh, first of all, clean them up and make sure that they look good. Yes. If you have any fogged windows, get those out of there, change those. And by the way, you don't have to change the whole window. You can just change the glass. Oh, and that's so, good to know. Yeah, so if you need shutters to dress it up because it looks boring, they're really inexpensive. 
and they can look tremendous. And that also is good for your inside of your home too. That's right. It's and not just a curb appeal. Yeah, you can you can if you get real. Sh you're talking about the interior shutters. Mm -hmm, but you yeah. see them from the outside. That's right. That can make a look look really nice and give you kind of a diffused look. Um, instead of just a glass, mm -hmm. you can change a kind of a boring look with the inside shutters. Or you can do folk, you know, the fake shutters on the outside that dress them up. Maybe you put that in one side of the house or something. Mm -hmm. And it's not all, you know, it doesn't have to be all either. So we want to want to make sure that you know what's available, and that's where a consultation with the modeler can help. I want to go ahead and mention our friends at Elite Lighting Designs. Now we've been talking about landscape lighting. They did a wonderful job at my home. You can see the video on that too on our website, mm -hmm. or look them up at. Call them at 573-0594-573-0594 or EliteLightingDesigns.com. We'll be right back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. Welcome back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith along with Morgan. Hello, everybody. Well, we're in our final segment of Curb Appeal. Mm -hmm. And I, we mentioned just a few minutes ago uh, landscaping and I cannot give a better solution to you for getting that lawn looking great and right now is a great time to do it with the fall coming in get those nutrients in there before it gets cold and have it store all these nutrients in the roots of your lawn and your landscaping call my friend Joe Caccino you'll really like him he's at 421-9522 that's 421-9522 and I know a lot of my neighbors now are using him and because um, they got jealous because they got jealous <laughs> that's right and look them up at biogreensa.com that's bio like biology green sa.com and so landscaping is a wonderful thing that makes everybody feel good it's good for the environment it, it avoids uh soil the erosion bees. the bees i've got lots of bees at my house that's nice everything is just blooming everything is buzzing <laughs> And oh so, so we want to talk about also other things you can do besides landscaping. And one of some of the simple things you can do is the, the next ones we're going to talk about: paint the house, paint the doors. Um, you know, there's just a lot you can Your do with paint. You can even paint brick and stone. Yes. If it's if it doesn't look good, let's paint it. We just Your painted fence. a stone house. Yeah, we did, and fence too. Like you said, yeah. paint your fence. I don't recommend painting most of them. You stain them. Yeah. And use a good but some stain that will like last. a pretty white picket fence. Yeah, it's just it's just hard to maintain them, and it's the wood doesn't last as long when you do that. That's true. But most 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 fences are not painted, but they can be if they're metal. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing you can paint is your mailbox. Make it look good, or better yet, make it kind of blend in with the architecture of the home. That's we mentioned if you the have tailors. A mailbox. Yeah, if you have a mailbox, that's right. Yeah. We mentioned the tailors, oh, yeah. and theirs is cool. It's like a mini version of their house. I know. That it was is great. really cool. Chad and I came up with a great design on that yes. one. Chad, I got to give the most credit to. But that's a cool mailbox. And it makes a statement. Well, remember, it was my idea to make sure that they did their mailbox because their mailbox looked so much like their old house. You're right. Version of You're the right. House. You were the one that I pushed it. I was like, it. "This is so bad. It's gonna look so bad something in my pictures." Something so small, so <laughs> something so small. You're right. Would have taken away from the beauty of the home. Yeah. So if you have a mailbox, get that also, and the address numbers too. You think something so small as the address numbers wouldn't make a difference in whether people liked your home or not, but it can send a subtle message. Mm -hmm. You know, it to me, it's like your logo on your company. Mm -hmm. Your logo can have a certain nice font to it and say something to people very subtly. Or it can say, what? <laughs> you know, and the same is true with your home, with your numbers. Mm -hmm. If you put your numbers in a really pretty font that goes with the style, whether it's modern, contemporary, mid-century, mid -century or traditional, mm -hmm. then pick the numbers that go with that and put arrange them in a way that it's easy to see and attractive. I was going to mention the numbers are also fall into the safety category. They really do. Because if you are calling an ambulance or a fire truck, they need to know which house is yours. I mean, a fire truck you can figure out, but that also needs put your numbers close to an area that is lit yeah. at night. As it well. could be on your on your uh, mailbox, and you can light mailboxes mm -hmm. too. 
by the way, and that can be a real subtle lighting with the LED low voltage, and that can work out really nicely. Then you've got, so so you know you know you you've got it all harmonizing now. Yeah. And of course, the other thing I want to mention is be clean and neat. Keep your house clean and neat. Maybe pressure wash those walkways. Fix any any bad concrete. Put your trash cans in a concealed area. Very good. I hadn't thought of that, but that's true. You you can build a little enclosure that matches the home. Mm -hmm. That's <clears> what our neighbor did. They put popped a fence out a little further, so that way he had a nice little area for his mailboxes to be hidden. Concealed, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's all it takes is a little wing wall of a fence or yep. something that looks like the home. And that can be very inexpensive, but it can sure improve the look. I have not seen any of those trash cans match your homes. No, no. I don't think the city is doing that. <laughs> They're not giving those custom matching, home matching uh, garbage disposal cans. So get your fence to match it. Get your, your house to cover it so that you have something that looks so much better. That was a good one. I need to write that one down. <laughs> and, uh, and then, of course, like we said, if something needs to be repaired, repair it. Get Don't leave it, you know, light bulbs unchanged. Right. And, you know, your house needs to be cleaned every so often. It needs to be washed. And a lot of times you think you need a pay job when actually it just needs to be washed the right way. There's treatments to the home that can make that, that siding and that brick look like it came alive and look like it used to be. You may not realize how it's changed color. And you may think, well, I'm just going to hold off because it needs to be painted. Well, maybe it doesn't. But it, guess what? Even if you need to paint, you've got to clean it first. So, so get <laughs> that well done. Might as well try to clean first. Yeah, get that done first. It's a fraction of the cost. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you um, if you can figure out a way to get your cars in the garage, that's going to make your home look bigger. And, it does. And less, you know, the cars Buttered. don't match the home. I'm sorry, they don't. They just don't match the home in most cases. So, mm -hmm. you really want to push that in the garage, especially when it's time to resell. If you can get your cars in the garage, and if you need to build another garage, then call me, I can help. <laughs> we can help, we've done it many times. We can even add on to a garage, like you said earlier, Morgan, mm -hmm. make two doors, one door to make it easier to get in and out. Extend garages is another thing that can be done. And carports, carports that look like the home, that actually make the home look, look bigger and more beautiful. So these are some of the options you have when it comes to building a home. We're gonna to have to go now, and we wanna we want to make sure that you give us a call at KM Builders. Look us up at kmbuilders.com where we design the experience so you can experience the design. And you can call us at 210-889-5626. What else did I miss, Morgan? You can also go to our website, sign up for our newsletter so you can see our free guides and downloads. And you can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube to keep up with our videos and social. Well, have a great weekend and thanks for joining the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show.